the one thing you need to understand about how solar systems work. Let's say you've got a six kilowatt solar system. It's in the morning and it's producing four kilowatts of power at that moment in time. What are the chances that your house needs exactly four kilowatts of power at the same moment in time? It's about zero. When you have a grid connected solar system on your home, it will be operating in one of two modes. Number one, there's too much solar. Number two, there's not enough solar. Let's look at what happens in each of these situations. Here's a nice animation behind me. This is from my Tesla solar monitoring system. In this scenario, there's too much solar. My solar system is producing around five kilowatts. That's the yellow circle. My house needs, it's consuming about two kilowatts. That's the blue circle. So we've got about three kilowatts of excess solar power being generated. It goes up and down because the sun goes behind clouds and the usage goes up and down in my house. But where we've got that excess solar, it just goes straight into the grid. As you can see, going into the white circle. So that's too much solar. The excess solar simply goes into the grid in real time. The other situation is there's not enough solar. So this is later in the day on my house. The sun's close to setting. I'm only producing about 1.7 kilowatts of power from my solar system. But my house needs about 2.2 kilowatts. So we're short on solar power, we haven't got enough. As you can see, all that happens is the white circle, the grid, tops up the solar in real time to give my house what it needs. So I've got to pay for that electricity coming from the grid. So that's the most important concept you need to understand about how solar systems operate. Mm -hmm.